What up, PFP? This is Twin Assistant. So, we're, summer is about to kick off, uh, or if this, depending on when this video gets put out there, uh, it probably already has started. Um, so, what I want to do is uh, talk about just three tips to help make sure that you don't um, go off the beaten path for your diet and all the work that you put in all winter to uh, you know feel good inside your skin. Um, so I'm gonna give you three tips for the summer. So first, um, it's probably gonna be hot, so drink a ton of water. Um, don't just drink water, make sure you add in a little bit of like some salt or some potassium, stuff like that to help keep the electrolytes in your body. Because when you sweat, you're not just sweating water, you're sweating electrolytes. Um, and you need to make sure you replenish those because it helps keep the body uh, more hydrated. Uh, two, make sure that you have a, <clears throat> I mean, it depends on you know what you're doing. Um, if you're on vacation, um, it's, this is probably a little bit more applicable to you than somebody that's at home and just doing the normal summer um, or a normal day. Um, make sure you have like a high protein breakfast because most of the time when you are on vacation, you're gonna go out and you might not have lunch just because you're out venturing around. You might be at the beach. You might be, you know, being a tourist and you might be out all day. So it's a good thing to have a high protein breakfast because it will uh, help, one, keep your energy at a high level. Two, um, you won't crash and, um, and it might hold you off for the rest of the day. Another tip along with that is <clears throat> if you can bring protein powder with you on vacation, okay? Um, one way you can do this is just get a baggie. Um, make sure that you check your bag because if you don't check your bag and you put it in um, the carry-on, you might get it taken because it's a powder. So what I would suggest is check your bag if you do. Um, you can take the chance of putting it on your carry-on, but this tip kind of goes along with the uh, second tip is bring protein powder um, because in the middle of the day, if you do get a little bit hungry, it's you're not going to spend money. You're just going to use the protein powder, drink your protein powder, um, and it will help, uh, again, uh, keep you hydrated because you're drinking water, and two, it will help you uh, stay a little bit more, uh, you might have more energy because you're have some protein. Again, you guys think of protein powder as just literally food that is in a powdered form, okay? Like, don't think of it as like something really bad for you. It's actually really beneficial for you. Um, whey protein, um, if you want a suggestion on protein, DM me more and I'll give you some suggestions. Um, <clears throat> two, and the last tip is make sure that you are, um, you know, eat, you know, there, there's just so many things you can talk about with diet, um, especially in the summer. But I would also say, just make sure you limit like your, um, these kind of go along together, your limit, your processed food consumption. So, um, you know, depending on what you're doing, uh, depending on if you are, you know, on vacation or you're out and about, um, you know, it's a weekend, um, control the amount of alcohol consumption, control the amount of, of just, you know, if you're at a ball game or something, concession food, maybe eat before, um, control the amount of uh, fried foods. If you're out and about, um, maybe you're at the beach or something, those have so many calories in them um, and they are very, uh, you know, cause a lot of inflammation and issues and oxidative stress on your body. Um, that's why it's very important that you, you know, kind of going along with tip number three is you eat good quality food throughout the day so that, you know, if that one time or, you know, like I said, control slash limit the amount of times that you're eating these processed foods, alcohol, and things like that. Because alcohol, um, as many people probably don't know, is almost as high in cal high in uh, calorie count as uh, you know fat. Like for instance, carbs and proteins. There's only four grams per you know calorie. 
uh, alcohol has like seven. So if you have alcohol and then you put like sugary drinks in it, it just like goes, makes the calorie count go crazy. So just watch what you're putting in the drinks as well. Um, so I know there's a lot of tips. I know this is a lot of, but there's so much more to it than just tips. It's, it's just understanding and educating and coaching you and understanding why you should um, you know, do certain things and you shouldn't do certain things. Hope this helps. If you have more questions, DM me, diet. I'll be more than happy to help. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Peace.